I've heard online that you can securely destroy the data on a hard drive by microwaving it. I don't think I believe that. The data on a hard drive is stored on a circular platter that's inside a metal box. You know what else is a metal box? The microwave. Surely if this metal box stops microwaves from coming out, shouldn't the drive casing protect the platter where the data is stored? To find out, there's a number of experiments I think we should test, starting by finding out if a hard drive will actually die in a microwave at all. First things first though, I need to be able to film the experiments inside the microwave, and no matter how many iPhones I put in there, I never seem to be able to get the footage off after. I'm drilling a hole in my microwave. Probably something you should not do, but uh, yep, there's a hole in the microwave now, that works. First test here, completely unmodified standard hard drive in the microwave. Clearly something happened here on the circuit board and this drive does nothing now. So we know a microwave will kill a hard drive. But if you've ever watched a data recovery video, you know that this means nothing for the state of the actual data on the platter. Data recovery shops can take your platters out, put them on a donor drive and like do some magic and get them to work again. And anyways, the actual drive showing up on a computer is not an indication of the data being gone. So we need to dig a little deeper. This gave me the idea to try and remove the circuit board from the hard drive and microwave it without the board because that's what seemed to be damaged the most. Yeah, okay, that didn't work either. I saw some smoke on one of the sides of the hard drive, which may be disproving my theory that the microwaves can't get in there at all, but we'll, we'll come back to that later. I was reading the instruction manual for the microwave for some reason, and I noticed it mentioned putting aluminum foil on parts of your food that you want to shield and cook less. So I always thought that metal in the microwave was never recommended, but apparently it is sometimes. Obviously, I gotta try wrapping a hard drive in aluminum foil and see if that protects it. This hard drive was inside a running microwave and thanks to our aluminum foil, it still works. There's data on this. Can I play the video? Yes, I can. It still works and all of the data was still on it. But what if I only cover the backside where the electronics are? I mean, could that possibly still work? Cause then top's metal, bottom's metal, right? That, no, that, that, that did not work. Now I've got just one layer of foil on the bottom and the top of the drive is totally exposed. Let's try that. I don't know if the one layer of aluminum foil is not thick enough to fully block the microwaves or what exactly happened there, but this thing does not work anymore. It also got really hot. At this point, I want to find something I can definitively either prove or disprove. And I found a guy online that claims microwaving a hard drive for two seconds instantly and completely makes all the data unrecoverable. That's it, gone. This data can never be recovered. It's been in there for one second. This should be really easy to disprove because there is no way that that's true. So we know that the parts of the hard drive that are breaking are the electronic and mechanical stuff. I don't know exactly what, but that's not where the data is. As long as the data is on the platter, someone could get it off. Not me, but someone else. So I think what we need to test here is if the platter itself is instantly killed by microwaves. So we should try microwaving just the platter, right? But is that possible? My idea was to try and swap platters between two drives of the same model. And if I could pull that off, I might be able to microwave a platter and not have to say that the damage was from me handling it rather than the microwave. So I took apart two hard drives, very carefully taking out the platter screws and flipping the platters onto the lids of the drives. Then I tried putting a combination of lid and platter onto the opposite drive that they did not go with. And yeah, this did not work. I don't think you can just swap platters into different drives without maybe doing some extra stuff to get it to read. So I thought I'd just put them back in their original drives and if that worked, it would still prove that I could move the platter out of a drive put it in a different one, take it out again and put it back and have it still read data. However, I made a critical mistake. I think my finger touched the platter. And yeah, I, I think that was it for that one. 
I plugged it in and it was not really working that well. But what about the other one? We still have another chance here. I almost couldn't believe it. This one actually turned on and still had data on it. That is a 50% success rate. So I guess that just means if I do this experiment, I should probably do it twice. With that success, I took apart another hard drive and microwaved just the platter for seven seconds, then put it back in the hard drive and it, it didn't work at all. But 50% success rate, right? I gotta try this again. I took apart another hard drive and put just the platter in for another seven seconds. And I know it got warm because I could feel it on the bottom of the microwave plate, which means it absorbed microwaves. It absorbed microwave energy and it worked. I put it back in the hard drive, plugged it into the computer. Not only did it show up, there was data on the drive. We disproved the theory that the microwaves instantly erase it. That is not true. This data is on that hard drive that had its platter microwaved and put back in the drive, not in a clean environment. I did this with my own hands. That being said, the drive was not in good condition. Anything I tried to do took forever and the reallocated sectors and unrecoverable sector count, they would just go up dramatically every time I refreshed it. The test video file I put on the drive, I could not play that. However, a bunch of pictures I put on the drive opened just fine. I was also able to copy them off the drive onto the computer, so that was successful. There was also a copy of Windows XP on this hard drive, which I tried to boot. It loaded the Windows XP loading screen and then blue screened and crashed. It did load the recovery menu, but would not load safe mode. So yeah, the, the data is definitely a bit messed up on this thing, but there is data on it. We know that much. I even went through some of the file system and found some of those old Windows XP sample pictures. Now I wanted to find out if I could reformat this drive and still use it. But the longer this thing was powered on, the worse it got. Clearly it was damaged in some way. I can't say how much of that was me handling it versus the actual microwave, but what's clear here and what we've proved is that microwaves hitting a hard drive platter do not instantly erase everything. I do believe that if I put it in for longer, it would have been less recoverable because the thing did heat up and I'm sure at some point the heat would break as much stuff as the microwaves. I'm also sure that someone with actual knowledge of data recovery and who wasn't just plugging the hard drive into a Windows computer, they'd probably be able to get more data off of the drive than I did given the same exact test. So we know that even without the shielding of the metal case of the hard drive, data can be recovered after a few seconds of being microwaved. So now I wanna find out if that shielding is protecting the platter even more. So I got an idea to put something inside a hard drive that could tell us if it absorbed microwave radiation. Like I could put some food in there, but like, we know what breaks from microwaves. Hard drives. What if I put a laptop hard drive inside a desktop hard drive? Cause the laptop hard drives will break if you microwave them for a couple seconds. So if I put it inside the desktop drive and it survives the microwave, that means the casing would successfully add shielding to that platter. Let's try that. I took all the insides out of the desktop drive, put the laptop drive in there, screwed it all together, microwaved it for seven seconds. I was just looking at this footage and I noticed a few things. If I scroll this clip to the right frame, right there you can see a flash of light, something arced. I don't know exactly what that was, but there was an arc to something in the drive. And then I also noticed right when it's about to be done, some smoke comes out of the side there. I don't know what got cooked, but something was smoking. It didn't seem to matter though. And it worked just fine. It was like it had never even been in the oven. The drive seemed completely unaffected. It powered right up and their data was still on it. No issues at all. I have to say that this whole thing was not really done super scientifically or anything, but I think there's two conclusions I can safely make. Number one, a hard drive's metal case does act as a Faraday cage and provides some level of protection to whatever's inside, usually the hard drive platters. And number two, a hard drive platter can exist in a microwave for a few seconds, and that does not guarantee that all the data is immediately unrecoverable. You can still get stuff off there. So if you need to destroy a hard drive to protect some critically important data, don't use a microwave, just like 
drill a hole in it and shatter the platters or something, that is going to be a lot more effective. And with that, leave your thoughts in the comments below, tell me what I'm wrong about, and get subscribed for next week's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.